General Lincoln was sacrificed, sacrificed, I say, to face 10,000 British regulars. Against where? But 5,000 men of his own, no support, or reinforcements were even offered, even though the siege lasted an additional two months. Your entire Virginia continent alive was forced to surrender there. Now, how could this have happened, you might ask? General Lincoln was betrayed. Betrayed by your rebel government. Traitor. Madam, you own me to be a traitor. Yes. Perhaps all present here today own me to be a traitor. Is that true? Yes. Well, my dear friends, I shall answer your accusation with the truth. A true showing of the kindness of your leaders. For back in 77, at the beginning of the hardship as Valley Forge, Congress authorized a sumptuous banquet to close out the year as a reward to the brave lads who had fought so valiantly for Congress and country. And what do you think they offered these brave lads of the Continental Army for their service? Madam, they offered each and every one of them as a reward a half a cup of rice and a tablespoon of vinegar. Who is your traitor now? I say it is those who sit and dine comfortably in Philadelphia, while the poor, the penniless, the shoeless soldier is forced to dine upon that feast of a half a cup of rice and a tablespoon of vinegar. Let me ask you all this. How many of you were persuaded to rebel because of unjust taxes, hmm? Come now, be honest. Mm -hmm. Yet now you pay more than 100 times that amount than you did before the war. You and I have been persuaded to rebel because of the supposed injustice delivered us by faraway lords. Yet nearer lords continue to deliver injustice. Your economy is in ruins. You have no imports or exports. Your lodges are empty. Your officers are corrupt and seek their own glory. And you, the good citizens of Virginia, you have all been misled. If I may, General. And I'll done this. We now know from continental soldiers who have crossed over to join our ranks that your army is no more. It is without pay, without provisions. It is now nothing but a mob and a rabble without discipline. So where then is your freedom? Where is this promised independence? It is with you. Union with Great Britain. Oh, yes, General Arnold. You were once true to our cause. But you cannot expect us to forget the past. Your past, you traitor! These are they who call out about the traitor should be apprehended. Hold, hold! As you were. We shan't have any martyrs made this day. As you were. Madam, be so kind as to step forward. Come now, you have nothing to fear. Madam, I have been shot twice in the same leg, and it still hinders me. I have suffered wounds, deprivation, and hardship for my country, this country. Yet I have the courage to recognize true betrayal. America is my home, but its only true security will be with that of Mother England. And to that end, Colonel Dundas, be so kind as to read the proclamation. Lord North and the Parliament upon instructions from the King assure that all the demands made by the Board Congress of the United States will be met and honored. There will be no legislation or taxation upon these colonies from Parliament. There you have it. All that you have fought for these past six years has now finally been granted to you. Now I am honored to serve you the British Empire, and His Majesty King George III. But we shall once again see, thrown high over this former Capitol building, His Majesty's colors. And Colonel Dundas will present to you the conditions of liberty and loyalty that shall be obeyed until the soon-to-come surrender of your Continental Army and Continental Congress. Colonel Dundas, if you please. During our stay in Williamsburg, you are all free to continue your usual business. But then we shall present to all and all 
confirming your loyalty to His Majesty King George III. Upon signing, this signatory shall be considered pardoned of all past allegiances, so long as this signatory remains true to their oath. Now, as this war draws to a conclusion, I look forward to the time that we might count one another as brothers and sisters under one flag, the flag of His Majesty King George III. God save the King! God save His Majesty. Sergeant, move out the column. Citizens, you are all dismissed. <laughs>